Hey, Sarah, welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Let's start off today's What's Poppin' with a look at the box office numbers. In third place over the weekend, we have Despicable Me 3. Gru meets his long-lost twin brother who wants to join forces on one last heist. Both Gru and his twin brother are voiced by Steve Carell. Despicable Me 3 made just shy of $19 million over the weekend with a total run of $188 million. Wow, this weekend's runner-up is Spider-Man. Homecoming Peter Parker, with help from his mentor Tony Stark, must balance his life as a high school student while also fighting crime. During its second week in theatre, Spider-Man Homecoming made 45 million bucks with a total of 208 million dollars. Not too shabby. Well, taking the top spot this weekend, War for the Planet of the Apes. After the apes suffer incredible losses, Caesar clashes with his darker instincts and becomes a mythic journey to avenge his kind. War for the Planet of the Apes pulled in $56 million during its opening it was weekend. Brilliant. I'm glad I went to see oh, it. I can't hey, wait. turning to some sad news out of Hollywood, legendary horror movie director George Romero has passed away. Yeah. He lost his battle with lung cancer on Sunday at the age of 77. According to his producing partner, Peter Gundwald, Romero has been called the father of modern horror. He may be best known for his first feature film, Night of the Living Dead, which many consider the blueprint for today's zombie movies. Absolutely. The BBC show Doctor Who has cast its first ever female doctor. Jodie Whittaker will succeed Peter Camaldi who says he will leave the program after 2017 Christmas program. The show's executive producer says he's always wanted the 13th Doctor to be a woman and that Whitaker was his first pick. Whitaker is scheduled to make her first appearance in the Christmas special and then take over the top role in 2018 season. Whitaker, meanwhile, says she hopes fans aren't scared by her gender and that it's a really exciting time for the show. Oh, well, this is something that's very interesting, everyone. Caitlin Jenner says she is considering a run for the Senate in California. The Olympic gold medalist and transgender activist made those comments during an appearance on the radio station AM 970 in New York. Jenna, a Republican, made a similar comment about running for office to CNN's Don Lemon earlier this year. Now, the news comes less than a week after musician Kid Rock issued a statement saying he may run for the Senate in Michigan. All I can say is the minute I get residency, maybe I should try and run for it. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. As um, if I have the qualifications, my <laughs> friend. Please. Singer Aaron Carter has been arrested for suspected drunk driving. Deputies say that he was pulled over about 90 miles north of Atlanta Saturday night. According to the Habersham County Sheriff's Office, Carter is facing a misdemeanor charge of DUI and pot possession. His girlfriend, Madison Parker, was with him, and she is facing obstruction and drug charges. His social media account says that he still plans a meet and greet with fans in Birmingham, Alabama on Tuesday. Uh, but is he um, Nick Carter's, Nick Carter's brother? brother? Oh, yes. it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tennis star Roger Federer's family was spotted in the stands during Wimbledon's 2017, and it's clear that his kids stole the show. Federer has four <laughs> children, two twin daughters and two twin boys. Goodness me. I know. Who were cool, present huh? to cheer on their father as he achieved his record win. And boy, what a game. The children were seen waving at the camera and oh. making silly faces. Federer told, he's, told the BBC... After his win, they have no clue what's going on. My <laughs> friend, they will afterwards, let me tell you. After the break, Alison Davis shows us a very sweet take.